Hello and welcome to the next chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help familiarize you and improve your skills with PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate. In today's short lesson, I'm going to show you how to use masks and gradients to create cool effects on your photos. You may not even know this feature exists in PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate as it is a technique that is frequently found in applications costing hundreds of dollars more. Normally, the mere mention of masks and gradients instills dread in the average user, but what I'm about to show you is simple and fun. In PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate, you can use masks to limit the effects of special effects to certain areas in your image. Then use gradients to add a sense of uniqueness and creativity to those specially affected areas. Many gradients are created using black, white, and grayscale colors. Black areas will hide any applied effects, white will let them show through, and grayscales will show varying degrees of these effects. To do this in PaintShop Pro Photo, we will use adjustment layers. Adjustment layers are correction layers that adjust the color or tone of underlying layers without modifying the original pixels. You can add as many adjustment layers as you like to an image, each with a different effect. Because you can turn any of them on or off, you can experiment and mix and match and they won't destroy the original image. Let me show you how this is done. All right, I've located an image I think will show off this technique quite well. I will now right click on the background layer in my layers palette. And notice, first of all, how many different kinds of layers that I can create. This unique feature in PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate allows for special layers with unique properties and unique editing abilities that won't get confused with each other. Okay, so I will choose New Adjustment Layer Hue Saturation Lightness. I will then set the saturation as far down as it will go to minus 100 to take out all the color and click OK. You will notice this layer shows up as completely white because, as I mentioned earlier, white allows an effect to show all the way through, and this one is affecting the entire layer. But if I hide the layer, the original layer is still unaffected. Now let's choose one of the many pre-installed gradient styles that come with PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate that I can apply to the Hue Saturation Lightness Adjustment layer. In the Materials palette, I will click on the Color button, and then the gradient flyout, then the foreground and stroke properties swatch to open the materials properties dialog box. Look at all these different types of gradients I have to choose from. I'm going to start with gray accent, mainly because the gray scales will allow my image to use its original colors. I will also select the sunburst style here and click OK. Now, very simply, I select my flood fill tool in my toolbar and click anywhere in my image to create a very nice subtle color effect on my flower. Now if you're not happy with this effect, no problem. Hit the undo arrow here, hit control Z or just hit the delete button. Go back to your foreground stroke properties bar here or property window and try another one. Try metal steel. Not bad. Let's try a different one. Metal chrome perhaps. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Multi-brown, which is not a grayscale, but it still has a great effect. Watch this. I like it. Well, experiment and see what you can come up with. And thanks again, and we'll see you in our next chapter.